Welcome to A Perfect Place to Start. I'm Catherine, and on this channel we do home decor and DIY projects. Today I have a fun video filled with thrifted items that I'm going to recreate into a shabby country farmhouse look. So if that sounds like something you're into, stick around, like, and subscribe. So for this first project, we're going to be creating a birdcage sign, and I found this, um, sign at the DI when I was in Utah. If you've never been to a DI, it's similar to a Goodwill, and all I did was give it a few coats of my folk art white chalk paint, and then I have this bird cage stencil. I got it at um, Michael's about a year ago or so, um, and then I'm just going to use some ink by Waverly chalk paint and do the stencil. There's something so satisfying about picking up the stencil and it looking good. So once I get that picked up, I'm going to take my stencil brush with some more of the ink by Waverly chalk paint. And I'm just going to go around the entire um, sides of the sign. I left a big spot up at the top because I have a big bow to put here, and so I didn't want to put anything else. This stencil set also comes with birds, and so you could actually put birds inside the bird cage if you wanted to. Now I have this bow left over from a previous project, and if you want to see how I made it, I will list, link that down in the description box and up here in the cards. But here is this piece styled in some decor. So for this project, we're going to be recreating this wooden bear, and I also picked this one up at the DI. I paid $3 for this one. I also paid $3 for the previous project that you just saw, and I'm just going to remove this really old ribbon that was attached to his neck, and then I'm going to paint him with some white folk art chalk paint. So I'm just going to cover his whole body. This did take me a little bit because I wanted to get all of the side pieces, and then I had to move his legs and arms up and down just to make sure that I could get in the creases. I didn't see a way to detach his arms and legs and I didn't want to break him so I just went ahead and painted it that way. Once I finished that I took this really light ballet slipper. It's like a really light pink color from Folk Art and I'm going to do his nose and then I'm going to go ahead and do a portion of his ear. I thought it would be fun to maybe give him some blush but I didn't really like how the blush turned out so I just kind of painted over that with some white paint. So I do go ahead and leave his ear and his nose because I think that that turns out really adorable. This is a really super light pink color, so if you wanted it to be a little bit darker, you could go with a darker pink. You could also mix in some white paint, and that would give you like a desired pink color that you were going for. So then I took some antique Waverly wax and my chippy buck brush and I'm just going to go pretty much over all of the sides of the bear, uh, the sides of his arms and legs, and then I do really lightly go over his whole body and I do do both sides. Once I have that part done, I took some ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and this is just that really light uh, celery color along with the farmhouse ribbon. And then I'm going to go ahead and I do just put them together and loop them together so then they're tied together into that bow. And then I take my scissors and I'm just going to go ahead and cut the, each of the ribbons up in a diagonal to give it a more finished look. You could also dovetail the ends here if you wanted to. Um, and then that is it for this project. Here he is styled in some decor. Hi friends, are you enjoying today's video? I hope so. And if you are and you haven't hit that like button yet, go down, hit that like button. It really helps my channel grow and be seen by other people. 
So for this project, we're going to be recreating this rocking horse, and I just thought this piece was absolutely adorable. He was also $3. I also got him at the DI, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take off some of this ribbon that was attached to his tail, and the tail is like a uh, jute rope that was like unknotted and tied together there. So he was painted white at one time, and I keep calling it a he, but I actually turned it into a she. <laughs> but it was painted white at one time or a cream color, but it was very faded, and so I just gave it a much needed coat of my white folk art chalk paint. And then I'm taking some ribbon and I'm going to make a shabby bow. My uh, rose ribbon was too uh, wide, so I went ahead and took some scissors and just cut that down the middle. You can't even tell once the bow gets on there, so that's what I really love about these shabby bows. I also picked up this heart uh, lace ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I just uh, put that in with my uh, rose ribbon which also came from Hobby Lobby and then I'm going to go ahead and dovetail all the ends and then I'm going to glue this one to the back of his tail. So I don't want any of my twine showing where I tied it off into the middle of the ribbon so I decided to go ahead and use one of my jewels from totallydazzled.com. Now you could put anything here, buttons, I thought about pearls too but they just weren't quite big enough to cover that piece. Another piece of ribbon over the middle also looks really nice too. So once I get that bow glued on there I kind of fluff out the tail and then I'm going to add another bow to the front of the horse using that same ribbon and I did cut this one in half because it was just kind of too thick for this um, like size of horse. So I uh, crisscross it, glue it there, and then I created another bow to glue on top of that that I just folded over, glued, and tied with some twine and then I'm going to glue it into the middle of that crisscrossed bow then it looks like the tails of the bow and then I'm going to go ahead and attach another one of my totally dazzled jewels right into the middle there it gives it a little added touch and this horse gets lots of bling and I think it turned out so adorable here it is styled in some decor For this project we're going to create a lavender flower pot and it's not a traditional flower pot. This is a wood piece that I picked up at the DI along with a good sized piece of wood and all I did was paint this with my ballet slipper. Uh, folk art chalk paint and then I'm covering it with my white folk art chalk paint. So once I have that covered I take this other piece of wood that I also picked up at the DI and I'm just using my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to cover this whole sign with my chippy brush. Once I have that completed I'm going to glue my flower pot down into the bottom center of this wood piece. So we're going to um, be creating a flower arrangement inside the top of this pot. I do go ahead and go over my pot a little bit later with some antique Waverly wax along with the big piece of wood. I did cover it with that as well using my chippy brush. So this little wood pot had three little holes in it so I went ahead and filled those three little holes with three stems of lavender that I picked up at Walmart. And then I'm going to go ahead and put more lavender around those three pieces. So my original thought was to put some Spanish moss around there, but once I got all the lavender in, I decided I didn't need the Spanish moss. I did pick up my lavender from Walmart. It's my favorite place to get it. I think it's the most realistic looking plastic lavender that I've seen, but they also sell it at Hobby Lobby and occasionally you can pick it up at the Dollar Tree. Um, and then those would work just as well here. If I had to guess, this is about two bunches or three bunches of the lavender. I just had this left over in my stash and I used up the bundle that I had. So once I get all the lavender glued in and I'm just like bending the bottoms and gluing them on there, I decided to add a bow. I feel like once I got this project all done, my bow is a tiny bit too big. I think just a smaller maybe shoelace bow or a fold over bow would have looked really cute here but I just made a shabby bow using my uh, rose ribbon and some of this like pearl ribbon that came from the Dollar Tree and I added another one of my totally dazzled charms in the middle and here it is styled in some decor. You make me smile, what is it that you do?
Did you know I'm on social media? You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and of course, YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you go down and do that now. For this project, we're going to make over this wooden carousel horse, and it looks like it had been toll painted at one time. I picked it up at a garage sale for $3, and it had kind of come apart. It looked like it had been wood glued at one time, but I covered it with about three coats of my folk art white chalk paint, and then I'm using this Waverly stencil. I absolutely love this stencil. You can get it at Walmart. I am using the Lavender Chalk Paint by Waverly as well, and I have used this stencil one other time to create a birdhouse. If you missed that video, I will post it here in the cards and down in the description box, but once you pick it up, it has this really beautiful pattern, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So then I'm going to take some of this purple grow green ribbon. I had this in my stash, but you can pick this up at Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to glue a little bow into the middle of the heart. And then I'm going to take a pearl from the Dollar Tree and glue that into the middle of the ribbon. Then I made another shabby bow using that purple grogan ribbon along with some white grogan ribbon. I did take a piece of material, or I mean a piece of the ribbon, and glue that into the middle of this bow just to give it a more finished look. And then I took a pearl and gave our horse an eye. And here he is, styled in some decor. This is my favorite project of the day. I absolutely love how he turned out. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. If you have made it this far in the video, I so appreciate you and I'm so grateful that you stayed here to the end with me. Here is a look at all the projects together from today. Let me know down in the comments which one of these was your favorite. It was really hard for me to pick a favorite after I had completed them all, but I have to say the wooden carousel horse has to be my favorite. I am in love with that Waverly stencil and I just think that he turned out adorable. If you liked the video today, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps my channel be seen by other people. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you love today's video, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Here are some more videos in the shabby French country farmhouse style if you're interested in watching those. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Say